Welcome back to another week in our Chicago Bears online user franchise. It is week nine, going to be against the New Orleans Saints. Of course, they're three and five, and we're a very shocking seven and one. We have got a trade that we finished before the deadline, which is great. And uh, of course, we'll take a look at the players of the week first. Take a look at the roster. We do have some up, uh, you know, upgrades, but we'll show the, uh, you know, the trade as well. Uh, weekly awards goes to Anthony Richardson, who I believe actually got to superstar from that game. It was a breakout game. Uh, Wagner with two sacks, three force fumbles. The blitz is on. Roquan, pretty good stuff with a sack, a force fumble touchdown, and an interception. And then Elijah Mitchell with three touchdowns and nearly 300 yards is quite the game, I must say. Uh, and then we will uh, take a look at the trade that we did. It wasn't a big one, but it's a big need for us, and he's young, so we may have a chance. Mr. Mike Morris from the Seattle Seahawks was actually taken in the fifth round, we traded a fourth round to get him, and we'll show you guys the roster. See how good he is. He's got a good, uh, like, starting run defense situation going on. DJ Moore is an upgrade, which is great. I believe we also have Tyreek Stevenson and Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, also, Kyler Gordon is back in the lineup, which is awesome. Once again, he uh, had that pick six and then got injured, and it was really disappointing. But, of course, Mike Morris, here he is with a plus five in temp. What is this for? I don't even know, but really good tackling, great play rack. I've seen that for a lot of our players, but power moves definitely iffy. Strength is a little worrisome, but the block shed of 76, you know that our fourth round pick is going to be a late fourth round pick anyways, and uh, I just feel like, I assume it is, I think it was our own, uh, I just feel like it's going to be hard to get a DT. The DTs we have now may still be the guys that we could roll with next season, assuming uh, you know we can't find someone better, which... Like I said, with a late draft pick, might be a realistic situation. If not, it's only a fourth round pick. Big whoop. Uh, we'll go take a look at the injuries, get our upgrades in, and then head on into the game. Looking at the injury report, Uche still out for two weeks, which sucks, but he'll be back soon. And then uh, Derek Carr with a torn labrum. Very on brand for the injury, but uh, I don't know if he's starting Winston. What's going on there? But... Uh... Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate for him. Tyreek Stevenson at this point. I mean, slot is just the best upgrade in the game. Uh, so I think we're going to go probably one more and then maybe focus on zone. We'll see what this upgrade is. Maybe it's actually really good for zone anyways. And it was not. Two to man, one to press. It's such a good upgrade, though. Even though that was an iffy one, it's still, like, pretty good. Uh, DJ Moore releases decent. Route running is not the best. So I think slot, as that should give him short, maybe medium route running. At least we're hoping. And it's two to medium route, one to short, one to catching traffic, one to carrying. It's not bad. Not bad. That medium route is really good there now. And then, of course, inside linebacker always with the middle linebacker. Field general upgrades. Gets one to speed, two to zone, two to pursuit. We will always take a speed upgrade no matter the position. All right, here we are in New Orleans, Louisiana. I actually really love the stadium, and it actually makes me want to, like, use them for some series. I don't know, but... We're going to be kicking the ball off first, which is great. Obviously, Justin Fields had a pretty good game last week. Uh, the run game is kind of like non-existent with him. We can still scramble, but the read options, I've just kind of felt like unless you find an opponent that just really isn't going to key on it, which is rare, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. I, I end up getting more negative plays nine times out of ten with the read option. So I'm trying to go heavy. I'm trying to get Justin Fields in the mindset of, True passer mode, you know? And who's his return man? Yeah, I was about to say, it had to be a big dude. A.T. Perry. That's an interesting return guy, I gotta be honest with you. He's huge. Not the fastest, definitely not the slowest, but... It's an interesting name. Brisker going against Alave is definitely a decision. Edwards going against Camara is a decision. This is... I don't like this. And Edwards, get over there! It's not Edwards, Edmonds. He's going to gain 16 yards. That's not really our job, is it? I mean, base without the changeup would have had Edmonds one-on-one -on -one over there, right? So that's that's questionable. Going against Kamara. Left the running back open, and I hate him. I hate him. Edwards just straight up drops the pick. How? It's right in your hands, my guy. User Edmonds over here just a little bit. Basham's playing left end again, which I don't know if that's a good... Ah, it's a good play. And missing the tackle is Edmonds, the big fella. Gains 15 after the interception. Or should I say, lack thereof. Let's go with Edwards. 
Not a huge fan of this guy. Can't get out there, and the blocks are on. I leave it one-on-one because -on -one I'm trying to pick it up with Stevenson. It's going to be a gain of, I mean, about 15 again. Defense right now, especially in the ground, is looking terrible. Play action's on. The tight end's kind of open. He's going to take the running back as Edwards is lost again. I think it might be Jeremy Banks' time there, dude. It's just not worth it. You're just getting nothing from a slow linebacker. It's sad. In real life, it matters. In game, it's a disaster. Really? Really? We're going to be covering manned up. Pretty good coverage, considering. And that's going to be another play that should have been picked off and isn't. Well, I don't know how I feel about this so far, but it's pretty annoying, let me tell you. Man, the zig is so hard in man coverage to defend. I guarantee we throw one bad pass. That thing's intercepted, 100%. I got to change Jeremy Banks in. I don't... I just don't like um, Edwards. I don't know what it is. I mean, other than the fact that he's slow, but he just sucks. I don't know, dude. Uh, let's put Jeremy Banks in. I mean, I get Edwards a high overall, but I don't know what I can do with his speed. It's just there's nothing there. All right, Jeremy Banks is in now. And the speed is already noticeable. Of course, it doesn't matter anyways. And holy crap, Kondre... I think Kendra Miller is the name, not whatever I just said. Breaking off of every tackle. If I had to guess, this is going to be a slant to Olave. Great coverage by me. And it's going to be a coverage sack. Noah Sewell is going to get in there for the sack. Don't know if he expected it to just be open because it was going to be an AI, but I was on that. Jeremy Banks in the inside of the field. And that's got to be picked off. Good job, though. Good job by... Uh, Kyler Gordon gets the knockout, and that will be a field goal. I know, uh, you know, Kamara is a very good receiving back, but it's just too much like pressure on the point of attack, and that will be a field goal. Really wish our guy wouldn't have ran so hard at the kicker, though, because uh, you know I had a chance at a late hit there. About a four-minute drive. It's probably what our damn drive is going to take too. Velas Jones has been too dangerous not to return the ball with, so even though it's deep, we will take it. And he's going to get to the 25 easily. Considering his back line, that's pretty absurd. All right, do we really trust Cole Kman to kind of just have that out there just to drag it out? And can't get the ball off. Just about to get it to, to Mooney. Pressure gets there the moment I'm about to throw it, unfortunately. And that will be a basic, you know, throw under pressure play. Slant more into some danger. And that could have easily been P.I. I don't know how the hell it wasn't. Goes for 14 anyways. That would have been so annoying if it was picked. Also notice early on that his guys were backed up hard. So I will pay attention to that. And that's pretty good. He holds on. Perfect coverage by Lattimore. Mooney with the press though. Surprised he didn't do a little bit better to get open. Cam Jordan on the side. How come he's got so many superstars here? Is Brzee a superstar for him already? And we're going to barely get that out. And good user by him. I mean, nine times out of ten, if I'm using that, there's zero chance I'm finishing that play. I am going to miss that play. So even though Cole Komet is a slow man, it's still, I mean, I didn't, I would not have done that. And there goes Cole Komet again. Perfect throw. And try to get a block from uh, Tyler Scott. That's a lot to ask for. Really good throw, though, considering, you know, on the run. We don't hate it. I feel really like, even though he's not containing, I don't think, I feel like it's really challenging to get outside. And, uh, you know, he's kind of keeping me in a box because of that. And not a great block by the tight end. And there's a fumble. I don't know if he was down or not, but you know what? The fact that it was a gain of two, I'm not going to contest it. Probably should have checked his roster. Yeah, he was down, but it's going to benefit us, so I don't really care. See what he's got. And that's a pretty good throw. DJ Moore in for the touchdown. Barely passed his user. Barely passed the whole defense. And uh, that slant from, I don't know if it was Mooney, just dragged out the whole defense. And DJ Moore gets a freebie. DJ Moore with his best start so far on the season, I'd imagine. I remember how many times he's even gotten to 100 this year so far. But he's about halfway there already. With the touchdown, which we love to see. you got to get more passing touchdowns on this team. That's what we're really missing. 
Saints defense that is nice hit. Very hard to score on. So the fact that the first drive was a score, I could leave this game with only seven points scored, and I'm happy. That's not true, but I, I said it to make myself feel better because you just never know. <laughs> you just never know if that's going to be what the result is. And really good job off the edge by Melvin Ingram, who has been, I mean, about as good of a help as you can get for a replacement for, you know, your your star edge rusher, really. And I suppose this is how you want it. Like, Boogie probably has a better chance to actually get stats going against uh, his left tackle, but our best chance to win is having our best pass rusher against the left tackle. And another zig with a chance, and I was just too deep. These zigs have been deadly. It's not really even a zig, honestly. It's like... I don't know, it says pivot, is that what it's called, I guess? I mean, they're they're giving me the name, I'm just gonna take it. Pivot route, I don't know. And that's a great play by us, and we get it stolen by, I think, Boogie, but hey, I do not mind. Yeah, that was just a walk-in. Like, that was just, you know, the, the, the line gave it to us, and I just went with it. Why wouldn't I? And, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. caught in 4K Brisker over here, They're zooming in on my man. It's like, it was you, your fault. Even though it was a positive play. Tyler Gordon going against a tight end. He's not the fastest guy in the world, so we don't hate it. And pretty good coverage. And I did leave it, but I, I mean, I kind of had no choice, right? It's either give up a 14-yard play to the running back or give up like a 30-yard play to who is it, Michael Thomas? I mean, it's one or the other, and I think we chose the correct one. I didn't even make the change. And the blitz is there, fourth and four. Boogie getting there. We brought the heat and it works out. I gotta say, the blitz today, especially going against an okay line, especially the right tackle, kind of working. Boogie seems like he's in the backfield quite a bit this game. Boogie's, uh, he's got a chance to be a, a star in this league still. Ooh, he almost baited that in, and Velas would have had no one in sight on him. Don't think we actually, like, no, we ran it once and then fumbled apparently, even though it wasn't a legit fumble. This play action, I love this. And we're not going to get it. That's close to a fumble. Looks like uh, Tyler Scott was open, but that just took too long to develop. We got guys bumping into each other. Cole Komet was going to be my main look after I seen him use her back, even though he didn't get far enough. Curl routes, maybe. And that has a chance. Tyler Scott, perfect throw for 78. Beautiful play. He saw it, but it was too late. I think it was zero coverage. Brought the blitz. Backed up enough, and the throw is a dot by Fields. Not that it even needed to be, because Tyler Scott got behind the defense. And once again, scoring more than I've expected against a Saints defense. His user has been in a really good spot most of the game, too. So it's just kind of catching me off guard. Throwing it hard in this one, but sadly no scenarios or anything like that to, to really benefit from all these yards. Good returner with A.T. Perry. These, these returns from both sides. Nice hit by Edwards, who basically got benched. And honestly, rightfully so, right? I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be like, that is so dumb. Dropped a pick. Gets burned all the time because he's too slow. Olave going, okay. Tight ends open. Oh, he's going to take that to Tyreek. And it's going to be picked. I thought he caught it. Wow, Okay. Get out of the way, Tyreek. Fighting. I thought that was caught. Apparently, it's picked over the shoulder. I think he thought he had the beat and just didn't. I don't know if he's going to leave that or if he's baiting it. It's a perfect throw to Mooney. Try to break it. Oof. Almost broke something. It was a good bait out, but, you know. I am the type of person to be so blind on a read that I will take the sack before just throwing it in, assuming it's open. Well, that's a good play. Good try by Herbert, but that is going to lead to a big hit. DJ Moore on the curl. The guy's kind of shallow here. Yeah, that's a pretty good play against 10. Wish he would have let him in bounds more, though, because that should have been a first down. Slot cross is not bad. I really like the Patriots playbook for passing. It's just the run game is, ugh. you know, we're almost in the second half and we've run it like three times at most. DJ Moore is a problem in a streak. So if it's a, stri uh, a press, I just seen him late. I think he accidentally bumped that. And I was looking for the cross because it looked like he was going to go to the tight end. And I seen Cole come at too late. It's going to be a field goal because of it. 
Disappointed myself. Looked at DJ Moore first, then looked at the cross. Didn't even look at the right side of the field, to be honest. Then seen Cole Komet. Threw it, but it was too late at that point. So good defense. Leads to a field goal anyways. Going back with another return for A.T. Perry. Can't get over there, and he's got some room. Good tackle, though. Sean Tucker. Being a little, uh, you know, misused, if you will, as none of the running backs are really being carried. We got, like, two runs for a negative, like, five or something ridiculously bad. And he ends up going right into uh, Jervon Dexter there. Don't know how well Mike Morris has done so far, but as a defense as a whole, we've done okay. Run defense has been a little shoddy, a little spotty. I don't even know what the hell I just said. Let's go with Mr. Jalen Jones. And Edmonds. Man, if Edmonds ever gets hurt, we are so effing screwed. Like, I don't think you understand how bad it'll be. That's a good throw in the middle. Missed hit. 2 for 39 for A.T. Perry. Brought the blitz from the, the slot corner. Didn't get there, sadly. Bringing another one. We at least know where it is this time. And Eddie Jackson's not even close. I just feel like that throw was never going to get there, which is why I didn't, you know... What is it called? I didn't follow it. I thought an underneath was coming because it was just so deep. Go Jeremy Banks. And we're, I mean, we're there, but there's just nobody getting up for the pressure. Gain seven. I mean, I don't know how far we got to, you know, like how many players we got to drop into coverage if this pressure is not going to get there. I don't, I don't really know what we do here. It's been pretty good, and then this drive has just been really bad, at least the last couple of plays specifically. I feel like that out route's a thing. Oh, wow, Melvin. Free rush. They just didn't see him, I guess. Hard flat. Jeremy Banks kind of dropping him back a little bit. And he holds on to like a triple coverage play. Olave is good, but man, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Good catch. I mean, we're running right into him with Edmonds. I mean, I guess maybe if I went for a full hit instead of a pick. So close, though. This has got to be a... Um, a zig to Thomas. I'm going to be jumping that. And he doesn't get it. I thought it was a zig. It was a quick out, which is... Yeah, I mean, most people don't throw that, which is why I did not anticipate it. So, good play, but got bumped by his own guy. Let's not do this. Ah, I can't do anything about that. We brought the blitz. Nobody gets home. Again. I can't imagine if he had all five receivers go out for passing plays that somebody wasn't free. He's got the slowest team in the world or something. Good drive by him. There's a couple of close calls in there, but they were just dots. Good reads and just barely missing out on some freaking turnover-worthy plays. Bayless Jones, the freak. And there goes Bayless. He's gone. Second of the year. Almost tripped over the damn ball holder. That, in theory, depending on how we would have played that drive, could be a benefit, though. Instead of us going up two touchdowns to end the first half, he has a chance at the ball again to drive to make it only one. So, we'll see. I mean, I'll always take the touchdown when it's there, but at the same time, you can kind of see both sides of it. Maybe I should have went down at, like, the, the 20 or something. I don't know. But... You'd look pretty stupid diving down on a touchdown, guarantee. That's why we return the ball no matter where it's at. I went this way because I thought the right was a little bit more covered. Either way, good fielding as we just see what it looks like on the other side if you don't have that. This is always interesting when they, like, don't even hide the stack. And that's going to be a little deep. They're going to say he caught that. A.T. Perry with the size. It don't even matter the talent level, apparently. Once again, four-man rush not even coming close to getting there. I mean, these plays are developing into, like, you know, long after the, the route's over type of situations. Zig is open. And I imagine A.T. Perry is a pretty bad receiver. Straight up drops it. Not even hiding the noobness. He's like, nah, I ain't gonna catch it. I don't even care. <laughs> you can... You can catch it yourself, man. 
Bring in the Blitz. I really wish we had Uche because I'd probably drop him here. But I can't drop Melvin. He's too slow. Another Zig. I mean, that route is just all the time by him. But it's working, you know. We're not going to cover it. Pretty uncoverable, to be fair. Especially with a good route runner. And that's going to be a QB, like, keeper draw, whatever, power run. QB blast. Did not expect that from uh, Winston. It worked out really well. The blocks were amazing. Underneath. Get over there. Huge hit by Edmonds. Blasted him. Thought I had the bait. Oh, that was close. Who even is his tight end? Is it uh, Jawan? I don't even know what Jawan's number is. Is it Jawan Johnson? Doesn't even show. I can't see it. Jeremy Banks is so tiny compared to Edmonds. I guess most players are. Everything is that, like, zig-type route, though. It's like a pivot. I don't freaking know. But everything is like that. This playbook is wild. I almost never run that kind of stuff. I feel like it's just useless, but he's opening my eyes to the, the situation. The running back is wide open, but he's going to take the sack. Is that freaking... No way. Six seconds. I didn't even notice the clock, to be honest. I mean, he could take a shot here, but this is risky. Yeah, I, I think this is the smart call. Was that Boogie, though? Man, Boogie's... He's just boogieing. I don't know what else to say. I love it. Get out there, lineman. We He played the safety so shallow. If the lineman gets that, you never know, dude. Sean Tucker, I think, has like 92, 93 speed. I mean, he played this, his player so shallow. Uh, I think you have to defend the short pass. I know the double move and the medium route he has hit. But right now, that is what's killing us down the field, the short pass. He's mixing it up well anyways, but still just... I think that is what's setting up the success. Kick is deep. Velas Jones gonna have a little bit of a chance, and we're—I mean—we're always gonna take it back with Velas Jones running into a little bit of pressure to the 18. I mean, okay, we'll take away seven yards on the 109-yard kick return. He owes us negative 102. Keep in mind, Velas, you want to return it that poorly again. <laughs> He literally can do no wrong this game, no matter what. I mean, unless he fumbles. That's pretty good. Good little hit, but Tyler Scott says no. This run, or this play, we've been running out of, and it's just really stupid. So, I don't know if we do that. I think it's pretty obvious. All right, run up the middle. And I should have believed. Oh, but Khalil Herbert believes in nine yards gained. Three for four. It's not a bad deal at the store, but this ain't the store. This is damn football. Bringing everyone up. The play action from Mooney could be lethal, but he's probably going to cover it. And that is really good. DJ Moore burning 57 yards. I knew he would try to play it safe, so I said, I'm going to take what I can get. I'm going to run, and he just torches for another huge play. The cross working perfectly. Maybe he thought it was a run. I don't know, but he was stacked. It's now 31 to 13. If DJ Moore had a breakout scenario this week, he'd be in a good spot to get it. And AT Perry going to fair catch this one. Maybe wondering if he's feeling the heat and does not want to see a fumble. Noah Sewell. Screen. And that's a great play by us. A loss of four. I see the screen nine times out of ten, but... When I do miss it, that is when bad things happen. When I miss it, our uh, guys are just like, well, how do you do? <laughs> I'm not going to be going for you this game. And dropped A.T. Perry. Not the best hands. We've seen him literally drop a wide open ball earlier. We're going to be running the blitz. Last time we ran this, it worked out to perfection. And that's a good find, A.T. Perry. Big play. I had two main ideas. The streak from the tight end. The streak kind of fade. Yeah, I knew that was the play, too. The kind of fade in, like, late develop crosser. And I was right, but he threw it in behind, which he threw a zig last time, so. And Kamara on those have been deadly. Seven yards gain. It's very hard to stop any drag, to be fair, but... 
specifically Chimera. He's been pretty good on them. Drop in a little bit more man, bring Brisker up. And there's a lot of pressure. Huge hit by Edmonds. Ball's a little behind him. I gotta say, though, if you look at the... Uh, why is he... <laughs> this guy's throwing a flag. It was after the ball was even being caught. Uh, but if you actually look at our, like, quarterback, like, record this game, or this season, really haven't had many good QBs to play. And, I mean, I'm perfectly covered there. Good hit by Brisker. The game wouldn't give me an animation. Followed that to perfection, dude. I think everyone knows what mid blitz looks like, but I think... Oh, he's actually going to kick the punt. I still think you maybe... Uh, I mean, there's no point in returning anyway, so whether it's a fake or a go, you know, an actual punt doesn't really matter. Not really much you can do with this ball. And it's going to go in. I don't know if you try to backspin. I know the backspin doesn't work every time, but... Yeah, our run plays are very predictable, though. We gained nine on just, like, pure bull crap. You know, it wasn't like we had a really good play design or anything. I'm going to run it up the middle. Try to cut it back. And we got room, but Herbert gets blocked. Oh, my Lord. His own guy gets him. That would have been a massive gainer. Would have turned this run game that looks like crap into a decent little run game. Deep shot, Scott. I mean, this is, this is looking like a pure run defense, to be honest. And there goes Sean Tucker getting perfect blocks. Spin into some proper players. He's got a lot of superstars on that defense, man. That's why I said I'm a little surprised that our uh, our points are actually looking pretty good on offense. I, I think, I don't know if just Fields got really good, like, upgrades recently, but the fact that we changed the classic, Fields is hitting the throws, which I love to see, and our own guys are just knocking us down again. Like I said, I really like the uh, Patriots pass plays, but the run plays, you know, they're not good. They just aren't. And Herbert, ooh, kind of bad play by him. Hesitated because he pulled him off. Talk about those double drags being deadly. I think the slant would be killer on this, but I think I think we're fine with a double drag. Good throw. And oh my god. Don't know what that was. What is he doing? I don't know what the hell he's doing there, but you know what? It's a first down barely. We're going to be happy that it is what it is. I don't know what the hell that was, but it is what it is. Stretch left. We actually got some pretty damn good blocks. Good move. Herbert fighting all the way to the 24. After that run, it's going to look a little bit better. Play action. Ah, oh, this isn't the play, the play I thought it was. It's not the formation. Quick slants. Do I trust myself? And that was risky. DJ Moore because he's a freak. Oh, my God. What is this game? Iffy decision, thought it was going to be knocked down, holds on, slips off, runs in for the score. What can he do there? Tell me what his, our opponent can even do there to fix that. There's nothing he can do. That is just bulk. <laughs> DJ Moore is just a monster, dude. That's why getting an elite wide receiver matters. And he's still kind of a lower overall. He's still young enough to develop as well. So he's only going to get better, especially if he gets more speed upgrades, which I think he got one recently. I mean, there's literally nothing our opponent could do there. Our opponent has not played, like, badly at all. And he's done pretty well, user. And it's just, what can you do? I don't we ain't got no safety over top. And that's a really good play by us. Kamara helps him forward. But Jeremy Banks doing literally what Edwards could do, but at a faster speed. Oh, my. That throw. Ah, I suck. Oh, my. He's got some room. Good play. Following with Cor Kyler Gordon there. Ah. Okay. OJ Howard, it seems like. A little bit fat. I don't know. He's probably about the same as Juwan. Not actually sure why he's using him over. He looks sick, though. So, I can see why he'd use him. Kamara has a chance, but... And he's going to take another sack by Boogie! My boy! The boy, Boogie. We cover that pretty perfectly. You try to motion the... Um, what is it called? He's got a room if he runs this. He tried to motion the uh, tight end after the fact. And that's a great play by us with Jeremy Banks. Only gains four, which is impressive. Banks from the 46. Yeah, that freaking streak that always works. Not really much I could do, though, unless I move the safety in. Look at the score. First quarter was a little tame. 
Second and third, though, very good. Jeremy Banks one-on-one -on -one against Chris Olave. Oh, my God, the speed. That's all right. Good defense on the inside. Michael Thomas can't hold on. Stevenson, very good stuff. We're normally on the inside, but obviously had to cover that outside. Everything's like cover three, cover three. Cover three again. It's all cover three. Drop hard on Olave, potentially streaking. And that's overthrown. That's a wide open uh, AT Perry. Great anticipation by him. And his quarterback just sells him. I'm going to be bringing a blitz. Hopefully all the matchups across the board are good. We got Kyler Gordon kind of creeping around as the safety, if you will. And we are all over that. But he's still kind of forced it. Jalen Johnson with perfect coverage against a speedy player. Has to go for this. Really has no choice. I kind of thought it was going to be a whip. Running back's open and picked off by Edmonds, who is just some sort of wizard, honestly. To the outside, Sean Tucker. Really good cutback. Gains a few. Try to go with Tanya, who gets about five. Sean Tucker pitch play. Trying to make some magical happen. Couldn't. Cameron Jordan with the strip attempt. Punt. Well, that's a deep shot. Blasted by Brisker. Not a bad find. Man coverage is pretty busted. We got a little bit of speed, kind of, with Tyreek. I'm just insanely impressed by Boogie. Because Ramchek's still a pretty damn good player. Got to be 86 overall or higher still. And that's going to be overthrown right to Brisker. And there's not really much you can do about that once again. Tyler Scott in the sweep. We'll see what happens. He's not going to get Tyler. All the way to the 35. Nice little run. And there goes Sean Tucker. That's pretty much going to be it. I mean, if there's like a highlight play on defense or something maybe. But, you know, I'm obviously not going to be trying to score this. Maybe a field goal or something. Change to the stretch. Oh, Sean Tucker beating Lattimore. Fighting for a gain of six. That guy's name's Orgy. Is that a real name? What the hell was that? Our guy was, ex like, trying to jump the ball so hard, he overran it. Would have probably had a pick six. Not that I would have returned it, because, uh, you know, a little bit of a step pad. Jumping the inside with Brisker. I feel like he might have an AT parry scenario, but I feel like that every time somebody throws a couple times. If I was watching, you know, if I was playing against me, I would have thought I had a uh, DJ Moore scenario. Ah! Good find to Thomas, who gets blasted to the 49. Early on, we threw a lot to DJ Moore, so that's why, you know, I would have been like, hey, he's got a scenario. So I just think that no matter what. I'm going to actually use her boogie. I want to see how good he is. Good move. Almost hit him late. Nice hit by Brisker. Should try not to hit stick, because it's A, going to hurt his guys. B, it's going to hurt my guys. It doesn't do anything. It really doesn't. It's just hurting someone, and I don't want that to be us. I thought it was a run. Oh, my Lord, Jeremy Banks reached the hands out. I ain't going to lie. I can see why he got baited by that, because even I didn't think I was going to get there. I was I was kind of like looking at it. I was like, oh, that's not where he's not going over the middle, and then he goes over the middle. I was like, oh. Boogie on the other side now. He's got the curl route. Boogie! Three and a half! Holy crap, Boogie's a monster. Boogie has been killing it. Noah Sewell, oh my lord. And he drops it. If A.T. Perry has a scenario and he didn't catch that ball and that costed it, that is harmful. So I think he's around like 97 yards if I had to guess. I don't know, maybe he has it, I don't know, but that's... Like, that's, that's harsh if he doesn't have it now. Olave. Olave. Good coverage by us to, like, pick it up last second. We'll catch it, but he got beat in Brisker. We barely got over there. Almost knocked it out. Olave over it. No, I did not expect a run. Blasted. Got to be thinking Zig with Thomas. He's going for the backup carries. Kendry Miller looks kind of cool, though. I don't know why. I just kind of want him now. 
Like, I barely use the running backs we got, at least this game specifically, but still. And we can't get over there, but he's going to be short. I mean, I call a timeout if I'm him. I've called a timeout for him. I've called a timeout for him. I know he doesn't want to look like he's stopped out. I don't care, dude. I want to see if he can get in. I want to see if we can make the stop. This is an interesting defensive formation. That's a good try. Oh, wow. That was almost deflected. And that'll be the game. We had a pretty good performance yet again. I mean, we're uh, playing against backup quarterbacks at this rate, which is definitely helpful. Winston missed a couple of big-time throws and maybe even had an interception because of it. Look at the numbers. It's like six yards. Fields, very good performance, though. Uh, you know, 12 for 15, almost 300 yards, four touchdowns to zero interceptions. Didn't have a rushing touchdown as, I mean, our run game was terrible. He locked it down pretty hard. You know, you see this 5.5. That was off of, like, one run for 21 yards. Look at the 21 yards. Still only 30, 39 total. Uh, receiving DJ Moore had a pretty good game. Uh, A.T. Perry was 10 yards short. I don't know if he had the scenario or not. Uh, and then looking at Tyler Scott, 100 on the nose. Mooney with 35. Cole Komet with 25. Yards weren't really, like, insanely high. Boogie's the biggest uh, shocker, though. Three and a half sacks, four tackles for a loss. Could get another breakout, which is insane. But an interception, half a sack for Brisker. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, with a guy like Boogie, the way he played this game, maybe I know a little thing or two about making trades for D-linemen. All right. Sean Tucker with an upgrade. We talked about this man getting a speed, I believe, upgrade in this series, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, unless it was a different player. Two to juke move, one to change of direction. 93 speed. Uh, maybe it's even in here. Is it? Fumble, speed, juke move. There it is. Plus one to speed. Uh, Boogie with an insane one today, though. Absolutely love that for him. I don't know what his numbers are. He's just, oh, he's on the list. He's on the list. Eddie's on the list. And Boogie's on the list. You have Greg Russo, Micah Parsons, and Boogie Basham. This guy's insane. Unbelievable stuff. And uh, we love to see that. Of course, getting that touchdown ratio from that pick a bit higher. I don't know if we're going to get any breakout from him or... Uh, end of the season dev up, but we're on our way to at least looking better with him. Of course, Fields' rushing numbers aren't looking as good, but that's what the Bears need. They want and need Fields to be a passing quarterback first. If there's a scrambling lane, take it, but, you know, as of right now, that's that's what I'm liking. Mooney not getting the ball, ball as much, but at least DJ Moore is still up there as uh, Tyler Scott. You know, slot receivers for me usually do the best, but the fact that DJ Moore is still the number one wide receiver just by a bit is good. Cole Komet, the fact that I'm not forcing it tight ends this season is really surprising. You know, in past times in this league, I struggle to throw to anyone but the tight end. So the fact that we're actually seeing the field a little bit better lately, at least, <laughs> nine and a half already is insane. Uh, Uche was on his way to double digit two, but got injured uh, is impressive for me. Uh, seven interceptions for Brisker. The safeties with 18 interceptions. Five interceptions for Edmonds. I mean, that's really good. Uh, we missed a field goal because of a block. But either way, really good game. Our opponent wasn't bad at all. Uh, you know, played with a backup quarterback and, more importantly, had a couple of really bad throws by his quarterback. I thought the reads were like 95% on point. Some insane reads that I would have probably missed. Uh, he apparently did have a scenario with Winston, which I didn't even know was possible. He's like 30 years old, which... Now makes me wonder, like, where the hell is Eddie Jackson's scenario? He's like 28-29. I mean, if we're giving Jameis Winston a breakout, like, excuse me, but um, 29 years old is, I mean, that's really? Like, I'm still like, just kind of like, he really? He's got a scenario? Got a breakout? I don't know. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. If you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, really appreciate your support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Uh, did not get the 15 first downs, which kind of tells you the efficiency we've had in that in that game. Because obviously we put up a lot of points, yet didn't get the 15 first downs, which means a lot of big plays. Uh, and then next week we play against the Panthers. So this win streak could come to an end as that's Lance's Panthers, which I think he's having a little bit of a struggle win-loss. But he's still obviously, you know, basically the best user in the league. And uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. So we'll see what happens that one. But... Either way, 8-1 and one for the Bears. I mean, we're one or two games away from potentially already being in the playoffs, which is ridiculous. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 